Also, great time to uh, share this with your friends. Let them know your friends on Facebook and on YouTube. Come down, visit. Let's have a listen party right now with Victor and a watch party. Uh, so let people know about the show. If they can't listen now, they can subscribe later and listen that way. All right, everybody, welcome to the Sunday Sax Jam. My name is Victor Cahiao, and I'm here to give you a little bit of entertainment on your Sunday. And uh, we're going to just do half hour, 40 minutes. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Usually I come in and I do about four or five tunes from different artists, and it can be jazz or it can be rockish or whatever. Today I'm going to, I wanted to focus on a band that I grew up with uh, starting from the late 70s called the Yellow Jackets. They're a wonderful, uh, I would call them, Jazz Fusion Band, led by Russell Ferrante, who is an incredible writer, an incredible keyboardist, and uh, they've been around for a while. So I wanted to do uh, five songs today, and these are a little heavier than what I usually do, but boy, are they a lot of fun to play, and I think that you're going to find that they're a lot of fun to listen to as well. So we're going to do five of them, and um, we're going to get right to it. I wanted to let you know a couple of things, because this week I'm not doing the Zoom thing anymore, I'm only doing YouTube. I won't get into the reasons, but this works out good. What I like about this is that I can really see the chat and interact with you guys in the chat. So I'll be doing that in between songs. So as you're listening, if you have some questions or if you want to know a little bit about how the sausage is made, I can talk a little bit about that uh, so I can get a little more interaction going with you guys because I can see you on YouTube and I can see who you are. And I want to thank uh, all 11 of you who are here. So we're going to start off things uh, with a song that I loved the first time I heard it. Uh, it's called Homecoming, and it is from the Yellow Jackets 1985 release called Samurai Sun uh, Samba. And so this is a fun song. Uh, it's on alto, and um, I think originally um, Mark Russo may have been a saxophone player on this one. So I hope you enjoy Homecoming.
All right. That was Homecoming. Isn't that a great song? Just a ton of fun to play. Really, really a ton of fun to play. All right, I'm going to get my tenor out and then tell you a little bit about the next song that I'm going to do by the Yellow Jacket. So just give me a second. All right, I've got this bad boy, which is a ton of fun to play. ton of fun to play indeed. And um, this next song I'm going to do is something really, really different. It is like, I'm going to call it, it's like a haunting tune. It's called Azure Moon. And uh, Yellow Jackets released this back in, um, oh, I think it was 1987 in my old school. Don't hold me to that. I, I didn't write it down. So, uh, But it is a really cool tune. It's in the key signature 5-4. So it's a really different time-wise. And originally it was done on soprano, but I thought it sounded even more haunting, if you will, in uh, on the tenor. So I hope that you're going to like that. Let me uh, go over here to some stuff. Michael Sweeney, I want to welcome you. Uh, that's wonderful. Thank you guys for the claps. Appreciate it very much. Um, and uh, TJ likes the tenor. I, I like the tenor too. I didn't have it out for like a year. How dumb is that, right? How how dumb is that I didn't have it out for a year? So what I did is I uh, took it out and I'm really glad I did because I'm really, really digging playing on it again. And um, so I'll be doing that. I have the soprano as well, but I'll get on this one. I wanted to play a tenor. Again, thank you for all of you. Uh, you have 14 people already here. That's awesome. And I appreciate you guys hanging in there. If you have any questions or anything, put them up here. And uh, at the end of this song, we'll address them. Uh, if you have any comments to make or whatever, that's great. So those who have dropped in since the beginning, thank you so much. Um, again, get ready for kind of a wild ride. And, and, and it's very modal. So enjoy it. It's a really cool tune called Azure Moon.
All right, that was Azure Moon. And when you hear it tomorrow, it'll be a little bit longer because technology. But at least it ended in a decent place. And this technology didn't fail. It was like this technology right here in the palm of my hands. But still, isn't that an awesome tune? It is so dark and so groovy. It's just, I just love that tune. So I I'm sorry that it messed up. But now it'll give you a good reason to like come back and listen to it again tomorrow, right? So there you go. Okay, I was asking, uh, somebody asked about what kind of uh, brand of reed do I use? So let me talk about my setup a little bit. I have been using the synthetic berry, B-I-R-Y, uh, brand reeds for years. I mean, since I was in college. Um, and they give me an edgier sound. They last a lot longer than cane reeds. And I'm sure some sax players would be like, ooh, this dude doesn't know what he's doing. But hey, I love them and it's all about the sound that I wanna get. So I have been using these forever. Uh, my saxophone, um, my mouthpieces are all, um, they are, are, are a really, really cool uh, brand. They're called the Jets and uh, they are, um, I'm not remembering the gentleman's name that makes them right now because I'm old, uh, but I will put it in the show notes. Let me uh, look over here, hold on, because I'm just being dumb, I have time to look. Okay, let's see here. Okay, the uh, Jody Jazz, and they are the Jet Series, and my opening that I use is an eight, which is quite a, a large opening for uh, for a mouthpiece, it really is. So that's, that's what I'm using there. Thank you for all the claps. Again, I hope you guys understand. Um, Exilio Art Center, thank you for joining. Great to have you here. Uh, thank you for the claps, you guys. We're gonna go back to the alto now. And this next song is, again, by the Yellow Jackets. That's the featured artist for this week. And uh, it's called Mile High. And it comes from um, the Four Corners album. And it's, it's a burner. The alto saxophone player, for sure, who uh, recorded this song, uh, his name is Mark Russo. And he is an L.A. guy. Uh, you also may know Mark. At uh, one time, he was one of the, he was a saxophonist for Tower of Power. And currently, he is touring with the Doobie Brothers. Uh, he is something else. I used to go to a saxophone shop in Los Angeles to get my horns uh, uh, done. And uh, Mark Russo was also someone there. It was called the Sax Shop in North Hollywood, actually. And Mark Russo also got his work done there. So often, uh, for whatever reason, I would run into him here, there where he was getting his, his horns worked on. And it was great. Again, thank you all for being here. Uh, this one is called Mile High. It's a burner, and so and and uh, and really a stretch for me. Uh, but hey, that's what we're here for. I have to have fun, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Again, this is called Mile High.
All right, that one is a barn burner, but it's so much fun to play. Get to stretch out and do my altissimo stuff, so I hope you really like that one. All right, once again, change of horn time. You might be wondering, why doesn't Victor just do all his tenor songs at one time? Because that's no fun. That's why. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for being there. I'm glad that you like that. Um, and guy, yes, this is exactly what retirement can look like. You too can put in 26 uh, years of 18 hour days at a major telecom and then have fun doing this. Uh, thank goodness I have fun because I have invested the time uh, not only in the horn, which, gosh, is so great. I am practicing more today at 61 than I ever have, and I'm so happy about it. Just, just makes me joyful that I am. And I'm also just learning a bunch of stuff about technology. I mean, this setup right here, you guys, I have three different cameras, one, two, and three. And, uh, and, and all those cameras have different views. And I have all this automation stuff in the background that changes automatically and it does it to the beat of the song. And then I have little lights and I have uh, you know, this, this microphone right here that you're looking at. Let me show it to you here. That's what I'm talking at. I used to wear a headset, but I think this is a little bit cleaner. So I'm doing that. And it's just a blast. It's just a blast. All right, let's get back to the music. Only two more songs to go. This time always goes by so fast for me. It's like, come on, really? It's only 327. Uh, this next song is oh, it's super soulful. It is a wonderful, just slow tenor thing called Even Song. It comes from the 1994 CD called Run For Your Life. And, um, you know, if this is the first time you've heard about Yellow Jackets, man, go out there if you have a Spotify or whatever, create yourself a playlist. Because they have some of the finest players in the world. Bob Mincer, uh, Russell Ferrante. Um, uh, I mean, I could just go on and on forever. They're a wonderful band, wonderful writings. And this is a great song because it's uh, at a nice and slow speed, only 72 beats a minute. But it's super bluesy and it's super cool. And I hope that you guys really enjoy it. Again, thank you for being here. Sunday Stacks Jam, it happens every two weeks. This is the last one for this month, but I'll continue the regular cycle uh, next month. Uh, just have to not do another one this month because of some family stuff. You know, life happens. So here it is, Even Song.
Now, isn't that just a blast? Oh, my goodness. I only wish that you guys could all feel what it feels like to play it. <laughs> you know, um, it's really, um, you know, we always hear cliches about, um, you know, music being a gift. Uh, and, uh, and it really, really is. And, and it's something that I was fortunate enough uh, at a real young age to be able to to do you know started playing the clarinet at 12 and um and then i didn't you know i didn't take it super seriously um during my working years because even though i always played i always played with bands i always sat in with bands but i didn't you know really really get in and and, and what they call woodshed you know put in two three hours a day practicing my scales oh who would have thought and guess what you practice you get better and even at 61, I'm really not old enough or, or to worry about it. I, have, I still have time, in other words. And so recently, I started taking improvisation lessons from my friend Troy Dexter because I've always wanted to play in a certain um, way that I was never able to play through standards and changes. And now I can do it. And I'm getting better at it, like I've been doing it for a couple of months. And I can feel it in my plane. And, um, and it's a lovely thing. So... No matter where you're at in your journey musically, if you're a musician or whatever it is that you're doing, it's never too late to to woodshed and do to get into it some. So I want to ask before I go on here, um, if anybody else has any questions or comments that you want to put up. I, I appreciate so much seeing you clapping at the end and so on. And I love this interaction. Um, it really makes my day to be able to to do it this way. I, all you know the people who have been here, uh, you guys have been consistently listening, and I love that. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, so I'm going to just wait a couple of seconds because it takes a couple of seconds for YouTube to catch up. Uh, and then we'll go on to the next and final song. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't see any, any of the questions pop up and so on, but get some ready for the end of the show here after we do this last song. And uh, we will do, um, we, we will do uh, some question and answer or whatever you guys want to talk about. All right. This last song, and I'm going to see if memory serves me right. Uh, it's, of course, by the Yellow Jackets again. And this one comes from their 1985 CD, Samurai Samba, the same CD that the other song, Homecoming, came from. And um, this one is going to go out to Carolyn because I believe, if I remember right, but I am old, that she has a daughter named Claire. And this song is called Claire's Song.
All right. Woo All right, that was Claire's song. For sure. Let me turn up my mic here a little bit. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Caroline, I'm so glad I remembered. Well, you know, I haven't lost all my brain cells yet, so that's wonderful. Um, isn't that a lovely song? And hasn't this been a great afternoon of music? I'm so glad that I uh, took the time to woodshed these tunes and to learn them. Uh, thank you so much for everybody who came along. Emilio, uh, of course, my wife, she's discovered Tranquility, which is the name of our Airstream, by the way. And uh, Strobe New Media, Carolyn Linus, of course, Exhibio Arts Center, uh, Michael Sweeney, TJ Asher, um, Guy Cochran, everybody who's here, that's wonderful. I really appreciate it. My sister, Raquel, Michael Sweeney. If anybody has any... Um, questions or anything this would be a great time to ask them otherwise i will end the stream again even if you listen today come back to youtube subscribe smash that like button so you'll get notified because tomorrow i'll put up brand new mixes of these that'll even be a little bit tighter i go in after i'm all done tomorrow and i take the music and i remix it and then i take the audio and i uh, re-edit it too so i'm really uh glad that you come and you keep me company uh, for me, this afternoon, it's still like 50 degrees out here in uh, eastern South Dakota. So I'll be able to go out and smoke a cigar uh, and, and then spend some time uh, with my wife and so on. Um, so I know I'm not going to see you again until April, um, but that's okay. Hang in there. I'll put together a great show for April. I've got some cool tunes in mind. And if you have any requests, you know, uh, leave comments on the videos and let me know. And if it's a song that I can learn for you. I'll do that. I will definitely do that. And uh, so, again, until next time, this is Victor Cahiel. This is the Sunday Sax Fam. And come back, visit, share, let people know about this, put it on Facebook so that others can hopefully enjoy a little jazz on a Sunday afternoon. It's 62, my wife says. That's awesome. Until next time, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.